welcome back to my channel. We are doing another day in the life as a kindergarten teacher in Madrid. <sighs> this week has been so exhausting. I got back to Madrid on Sunday. Monday we started school, so I was like fully jet lagged. Last night was the first time that I like actually slept through the whole night, um, which was, you know, today's already Thursday. But this week has been like okay, I would say. The kids, you know, it, they just like really have to get back into the routine and so we've been doing a lot of routines i've been taking things slow and just trying to like get through the week get them back on track and all of that stuff i'm gonna set up some things have some breakfast and i made a chai tea this morning i've been trying to like make tea or make coffee and bring it to work instead of stopping at the metro like coffee shop and buying food and things there so you know we're getting started i am doing my kids loved in december we did a little like behavior chart that had like lights on it so my lovely assistant made this chart so it's like new year great behavior and we'll do a movie party at the end because the kids like literally loved that anyways if you guys already haven't seen one of my videos of like my life here in spain i will link one up here yeah i used to teach kindergarten just like for a review if people have not been to my channel yet i used to teach kindergarten in florida that's like where i'm from that's where my family's from and then i moved to spain and i'm teaching at an american school here right now on thursday thursday's like my easiest day so usually that's the day that i vlog because i have like more time and things aren't as hectic first thing in the morning the kids come in they're gonna do like their morning work they have little morning work books which are incredible. I don't know why I never thought of doing that, but like it's like a little flip book that has like all their things together, which is good. Um, after that, they go straight to PE. So I have like an hour in the morning to like get stuff done, get some planning done. I'm currently working on like a little mini project that I'm trying to get done. Then they come back. We're going to do some handwriting and whatnot. But right now it's 8.06 a.m. and the kids will be in here at 8.30. So let's get all set up. What a great start to the morning. I just had a child come up to my table, <laughs> push over my like little container that had my tea in it, and it spilled everywhere. Like, happy Thursday to me. The poor kid was like so sad though, he like started crying. But luckily it didn't get on my computer, so that's a positive, but now I have no more of my nice chai tea latte that I make for myself. Anyways, I am going to take down the door decorations that are on the door right now and we're gonna make a new one. Okay, so I just talked to my partner teacher and we decided that we're gonna do our class as a celebration because I guess like a group of polar bears, we're gonna put little like polar bears on the door. A group of polar bears is called a celebration, which is like so cute. So I'm gonna get on Canva and like make that and then we'll print it and laminate it so that I can use it next year also. Okay, it is currently my kids' first recess of the day, and they literally have so many like recess periods. Um, but I just had some like girls come in from like fourth or fifth grade, and they were helping me with cutting, so I'm gonna have to clean that up. But that's for the board that I'm changing today. Um, I just sat down. I have like my huge to-do list, and I'm just trying to get things done in the short amount of time that I have. I have about eight more minutes until the kids come in but this is what my to-do list is looking right now and i started this to-do list at the beginning of the week so it's just things like i needed to hang up my word wall words i needed to prepare an activity move some library books uh, make my slides for next week which i need to work on later right now i am like really hungry so i'm gonna have a snack i stole a cliff bar from the u.s so i'm very excited to snack on this right now i need hand sanitizer also got hand sanitizer from my mom a nice bath and body works one i figured also i wanted to do an update on one of my like most popular videos on youtube is when i did a video about like de-escalation strategies and like working with kids who are having like meltdowns and stuff like that because one day that i vlogged it was just like one of those days where the kids are like freaking out i feel like i had a very emotional class last year and this year i also have a very emotional class and a lot of kids that just have a hard time handling their emotions and i don't know if that's still from like covid times or like what's going on for me the most important thing that i have to figure out as the teacher is why 
the behavior, like why the student is exhibiting this behavior. So like, I don't know, just like random examples could be that they are seeking attention. It could be that they are upset, like they're really sad about something and they just like whatever behavior they're doing, it's for a reason. And so one of the students that I'm like working with right now, I recently have figured out that I'm pretty sure a lot of this behavior is for attention and unfortunately all of the behavior is negative behavior and I have been making the mistake of like giving attention to the negative behavior so like saying I don't know like or like giving like a negative point on dojo and that just like is not working because it's like almost like pointing out the negative behavior and giving attention to the negative behavior and the student is having a hard time doing like positive things so I haven't had a chance to give positive behavior points so something that like I'm changing and I'm working on is literally just like only giving positive attention to this student and I also made this student a behavior chart and it's just a sticker chart of like these are positive things that we're doing we earn a sticker for each one and then I work with the student for them to decide what they want at the end like if they get 10 stickers they get a reward and now for this student I realized that it's really hard for them to get through the entire day so I have like if you get five stickers you get this reward after you get the five stickers if you get 10 stickers then you get this reward so there's like a halfway point and if they have a hard time during a certain section of the day it doesn't ruin the entire reward and obviously we'd be working towards eventually just doing like the 10 stickers the sticker chart works i've also done that in the past the only thing is is that i have to be really careful with like explaining it to the rest of my students because it can make the other students be like oh well like why is he getting stickers when i'm not getting stickers and so like just the ones that i knew would kind of like lean towards that i made sure to talk to them and you know focused on hey like everybody learns different all of that good stuff i just find that it's like so hard to teach when you have so many like emotions happening at the same time but really like focusing on the positives is so important like just focusing on those students that are doing the positive things like eventually the student will get back on task and i struggled with this last year because i had a student that was like very disruptive like to the point of I couldn't ignore the behavior because it was becoming like a safety problem in the classroom as long as there's no like safety issues like I try my best for the students who I know are seeking attention I try my best to ignore as long as I can obviously like keeping in mind safety of everybody else you know but yeah that's just a little thing that I do but if you haven't seen the other video I talked to, through a couple more strategies in that video and I'll link it here. Hopefully it helps, but the teaching world nowadays is just like, there's just so many emotions that we have to deal with. I, I'm sure it's just like always been like that, but I don't know, it's tough out here. Anyways, I'm gonna finish my snack. I gotta go get my kids. All right, it is the end of the day. Here I am trying to like quickly laminate some things. <sighs> I'm like so tired now. It is currently like four... 446. I'm gonna do this last page and then I need to get out of here because I have a bus to catch and then I will talk to you guys again when I'm at home. But this is the current state of my classroom at the end of the day. Okay, hello. I am back home from work. I was like on the phone with my mom for a little bit. It's currently 6:18. I just got changed because I'm gonna go get some drinks the friend later I was talking to one of my friends like on the bus ride home and I was like I want to share my thoughts with the vlog just about like the school system difference between the US and with Spain basically in Spain I would say it's a little more chaotic than in the US I think like this obviously I'm speaking just like my experience but I think that the school that I worked at in the US was like you know there's just a lot of like rules and regulations that we have in place we that they had in place and although it was like really annoying like all the deadlines all the things we had to get done all the documenting that we had to do I see now why we did that and like the whole purpose behind it and I feel like here there's not as much of like the rules and regulations and the hard deadlines and all that stuff which like comes with its benefits of like a little bit less work and you know you're not as like stressed about getting to deadlines on time um but also just like 
the whole structural system of it like there's no substitute teachers at all like that's not really like a job position thing um so that makes it really difficult on the teachers and like the reason we were talking about all this is because like some people are going on maternity leave in march and we were like if they don't hire new people that's gonna be so difficult but it's so hard to hire like people in spain because you know like it's an American school, so everyone has to be sponsored and all this stuff, and then, like, the school doesn't really want to sponsor people, and it's just, like, so complicated, and it gives me a headache. Especially, like, the one thing I cannot get over is that there's, like, no system in place for substitute teachers. It, like, shocks me. So, basically, like, if you miss a day of work, your principal has to cover it, someone else who's, like, a floater has to cover it, which, like, obviously, some schools in the States have experienced that because of the teacher shortage but that's like not the normal um but yeah i was talking to one of my friends about that on like the bus ride home which was just like blowing my mind as i said i got changed i think i'm gonna have a little snack i want to read currently i'm reading i literally just started and it's the first ever like fantasy book that i read i just finished demon copperhead which highly recommend it was a really good book anyways i'm like probably like 30 pages into this book Oh wait, no, I'm farther. I'm like 40 pages in. But anyways, I'm reading it for like this book club that I'm in, so I want to read this book. Also, I bought this when I was in the States. Um, so I want to read this book, chill out a little bit, decompress from the day of teaching. I feel like that's always so important for me that like when I leave teaching and like get home that I'm like really trying hard not to think about it. Um, and like keeping myself busy, doing other things that I enjoy. Um, usually I'll do like some yoga classes during the week. Um, that's like my extent of physical activity, yoga, yoga and Pilates, I've fallen in love with both of those. But anyways, I'm gonna read, have myself a little snack, it's already getting dark outside. And then I'll go head out to my little like drinks that I'm gonna have, which will be fun. So, I probably won't talk to you guys again in this vlog because I'm like horrible at ending vlogs, so how about... I'm just going to end the vlog now. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing what life is like in Madrid. I also really, really, really want to do like an apartment tour. These white walls, I need to decorate and then I'll do an apartment tour. So maybe that'll come at some point. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching if you made it to this point And I will see you guys in my next video.